Hi there folks, Brendan from Boomer RC here. Just a quick instructional video on one of our products, the IntelliMatch. We're going to run through what you get when you buy an IntelliMatch, how to set up and use an IntelliMatch, and some of the frequently asked questions we get about this particular product. To start off, when you first get your IntelliMatch, you'll get an arming plug, the IntelliMatch, either an IM22 or an IM14, a small screwdriver, and three JR to JR connection leads. Okay. So the first step in setting up an IntelliMatch is before you even plug it into your system, make sure that whichever surface you're IntelliMatching, whether it be your ailerons or your elevator, is mechanically matched as close as possible. Uh, this step is crucial um, in order to get the best results out of the IntelliMatch system. Just going to go through a quick rundown of the IntelliMatch. This is an IntelliMatch IM22. Okay, So we have, starting from the top down on the pins, an arming bat plug, an input A, input B, a spare for battery or to add power if you're running high powered servos, output A1 and output A2, output B1 and output B2. On the other side we've got a rotary dial which is for setup and buttons A and buttons B. So you've mechanically matched your servos and now we're going to start plugging in the IntelliMatch. Before you install this in your system, we always recommend that you either take the head off one of your servos if you're matching two servos together or you match your servos out of your planes and don't mechanically connect them just until you're familiar with the system. So in front of me I have an IM22 unit and this is designed to match either your left and right ailerons um, with two servos each side or if you have two servos on each side of your elevator halves you can use one of these units. Okay. So with the cables that we supply they're a different color format to most other cables. We've got the grey which is your signal cable and that goes to the top of the IntelliMatch. The middle is the yellow and it's positive and the black is the negative. So when you're plugging in, always make sure that the grey is to the top of the IntelliMatch. Connecting the IntelliMatch, get the JR lead and plug it into input A. Make sure that the pins are not offset, Okay, that all three pins line up, and that the grey cable is to the top of the IntelliMatch. Okay. You will notice that when you first plug in the IntelliMatch, the lights will come on, showing that the IntelliMatch has power. Now that we have power to our system, we're just going to plug in, we've plugged in a signal into input A. Now we recommend for best results when using the IntelliMatch system, only have one signal wire plugged in during setup. You can plug in a second and a third signal wire. Uh, once you're ready to run after setup has been complete, but only ever have one signal wire plugged into the IntelliMatch during setup. So we're just going to plug in our servos now. I've got a JR servo lead here, and I'm just going to plug it into output A1, which is the master for input A. Okay. Again, making sure that the signal wire is to the top of the IntelliMatch and that the pins are not offset. You should have control of that servo now and you should see the control surface or the servo move. Okay. Grab the second or the slave signal wire and just plug that one into output A2. Again, making sure that the signal wire is to the top and the pins are not offset. So now you have one signal in and a master and a slave servo connected. We're going to go through a quick demonstration on subtrim. Before we do an IntelliMatch or a subtrim, we have to tell the IntelliMatch how far the servos move. To do this, with the rotary dial set to zero, move the transmitter stick completely one way and press the button with the light on. 
move the transmitter stick the other way and press the button with the corresponding light on. Let the transmitter stick back to the center. To sub-trim input A, what we do is we grab the little screwdriver that was supplied with the kit. We go to the rotary dial and turn it to one. Now this is sub-trim mode. Leaving your transmitter stick in the center, press buttons A and B to sub-trim the slave servo to the master servo. Now, moving the transmitter stick one direction, you'll notice that the lights change. Press buttons B and A again to sub-trim at that extreme point. Moving the transmitter stick the other way to its extreme, repeat, press A or B to sub-trim that servo around its master servo. We recommend doing this before you start an IntelliMatch process in order to get the best results. Once you're happy with the sub-trim, grab the little screwdriver again and just turn it back to zero and that saves the sub-trim settings. Now we're going to go through an IntelliMatch process. With the arming plug that was supplied, plug it into the arming plug port and we are IntelliMatching input A, so we press the button corresponding to A. You'll notice the lights change and the surface you're IntelliMatching or the servos you're IntelliMatching will move through the sweep that you've set and then they will start to IntelliMatch against each other. Once this process is finished, the, your servos or the surface you're IntelliMatching will return roughly to centre and the lights on the IntelliMatch will switch off. Once this has happened, remove the power from the IntelliMatch either by repowering the system, okay, remove the arming plug and repower the IntelliMatch. Again, making sure that the signal wires is to the top and there is no offset there. Now that is one half IntelliMatch done. So we're gonna show you how to IntelliMatch input B now. Removing the signal wire from input A and plugging A signal wire into input B. Okay, we go through roughly the same setup. So. We also want to plug our servos in, our master servo into output B1. You should have control of that servo now. And a, the slave servo into output B2. Now we're going to teach it the servo endpoints. Move the transmitter stick completely one direction. Press the button with the light on. Move it the other way, press the button with the light on, the transmitter stick back to center. Now we're going to go through a sub trim. Turn the rotary dial to number two, leaving the transmitter stick in the center, press buttons A and B to sub trim the slave servo against the master servo. Move the transmitter stick one direction Press buttons B and buttons A until you're happy with the results of move the transmitter stick the other way and repeat. Press buttons A and buttons B to sub trim the slave servo against the master servo. Let the transmitter stick back into the center and return the dial to zero. Now we're going to IntelliMatch side B. Getting the arming plug again, plug it into the arming bat port, making sure that there's no offset there, and pr simply press button B. Again, you'll notice that that surface will sweep through its entire range, and then it will start to IntelliMatch. Again, once this is finished, your servo should return 
uh, roughly to the center and the interior match will switch off. All we do is remove the power or cycle the power. I'm going to do this by just removing the signal cable, removing the arming bat plug and plugging the signal cable back into the port. We've just finished IntelliMatching input B and we can now reconnect all our servos and the signal cable into input A. So we recommend this step, turning your power off on your model and plugging all of the servos and the signals back in. We've now turned off the IntelliMatch and I'm just going to connect, this, reconnect the signal back into input A, making sure that the signal wire, the grey one, is to the top. And my JR servo cables, or Futaba, or Hitech, reconnecting them back into input A1 and input A2. Make sure when you reconnect your servos, you remember which one is master and which one is slave. Otherwise, your IntelliMatch will be back to front. Now we're happy with all of our cables are plugged back in, all of our signal wires are to the top, and none of the pins are offset. We can reconnect the power to our system. And that's it, folks. That's how to use an IntelliMatch 2.2 and IntelliMatch both sides. You can sub-trim after the IntelliMatching process as well if you want to get better results. We will now show you an instructional video on how to use an IntelliMatch 1.4. Thank you very much.